Hello everyone, my name is Najum Key. I am here, uh, in my closet, because <laughs> that's where I can get the sort of best insulation so my voice doesn't sound all echoey and weird. Um, I, I feel like I've been winning too much recently, so I thought, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna make a deck called Draw Discard Warlock. Now you might be asking, what is Draw Discard Warlock? Well... I put in all the cards I could find with draw, and all the cards I could find with discard, and, uh, yeah. Chromacus is also here, cause, fucking why not? It's actually not very good, so I'm gonna take him out. <laughs> so far, Chromacus has not worked once, although I, I haven't played a lot of games as him, so yeah. Now, bear with me, right? When... Fists of Jaraxxus was first released. I thought this would be like a legit deck. Maybe not with this much, much draw. Uh, but something like this. You know, where you would run Tiny Knight and Succubus and Fists of Jaraxxus. And you would just play a bunch of things like Loot Hoarder that would draw you cards. So that uh, rather than trying to get your hand empty, you would just be fine with discarding a bunch of your cards uh, to get things like Fists of Jaraxxus working, right? Because you would draw just so much. And that's sort of the idea with this deck. Uh, now you might say, hey, you know, you should get rid of, uh, some of these cards, right? You get rid of Cult Master, you get rid of Succubus, and then suddenly you put in, like, Imp Gang Boss or something, and it's, like, actually pretty good. You should put in Silverware Golem. Uh, the reason Silverware Golem and Fists of Jaraxxus isn't in here is pretty arbitrary. It's mostly because I couldn't think of a good reason to put them in. <laughs> like, I get that they're kind of part of the gimmick, but like, that would be that would be too efficient, right? Uh, and Imp Gang Boss is too good a card for this kind of shit. So, you know, all in on the gimmick, I suppose. I'll put in another Novice Engineer. I probably should have like another Darkshire Librarian. Uh, but I only have one, and uh, it's, right now we're on the brink of an expansion, right? So, I'm just gonna not fucking bother, and I'm gonna save all my dust, all my gold, for the next expansion's new cards. Uh, so that's fun. So yeah, let's get into the game. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Alright, we got our 1-2-2 two, two drop. Let's get Harrison out. So... What I'm finding with this deck is that it, the discard mechanic is actually super solid. The draw mechanic, not so much, okay? <laughs> um, I keep burping. I'm not entirely sure why I keep burping, but I keep burping. I feel like I should just drop the Secubus here. I have plenty of turn 2 plays, and hopefully I don't discard my turn 3 play with the Mischievous Imp. Uh, but he might Frostbolt... Yeah, I guess this is fine. This is one of those cases where something like abusive would be really nice. If I was playing like a proper zoo deck, now, that that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But, you know, whatever. I feel like I'm being super down on this deck now. Like, this deck pulls out. You would be surprised how often this deck pulls out, okay? Um, it's It has... A surprisingly decent matchup against a lot of these sort of aggressive decks. So by the way, the reason I'm putting it on this one is because it's turn three and it's unlikely that Mage wants to ping or it loses a bunch of tempo, right? So the hope is like he has to ping here and now he doesn't develop anything else, which is quite nice for me, right? So the hope is that by just playing enough cards and always having cheap shit to play, I am going to always have. I'm going to be able to sort of afford this this ca card mechanic, right? So I just discarded one of my draw cards, which was the best example. I think the best one to discard there would have been this Oracle. Uh, but you know, Thalnos is fine as well. I don't actually have any spells in this deck, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so, but yeah. Succubus is a really powerful card. Two mana, four, three. Boom, tempo. Now, when you add that to a two mana, one, one, you kind of even out on the tempo game there. Holy shit. Fucking arcane explosion, man. Are you... Okay, I swear to God, if this kills, like, 50-50, right? Hey, we good. I want to go face. 
I want to go face, but fucking mage is such a bullshit class right now. Temple mage is like easily one of the most fucking annoying decks, right? Because they have so many ways to deal so much damage. It's fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? Uh, so what we're gonna do? We could drop the Harrison, but actually I'm realizing now court. Cold Light and Succubus is, like, way stronger, so we're just gonna fucking do that. Ooh, Tiny Knight of Evil. We'll actually drop this, because I wanted to. <laughs> I, I don't have I don't have a good reason. I just wanted to drop Tiny Knight of Evil. He can get decently big, but this deck doesn't actually run that many discard mechanics. It runs Soulfire, uh, Succubus, and... Fucking the big one that everyone plays, Doom Guard. That's the one. Tiny Out of Evil, by the way, is probably one of the most interesting cards for this discard mechanic. When I saw Fist of Jaraxxus, I was like, huh, maybe this discard thing works, right? Because getting random four damage is really powerful, right? For example, this guy's about to get random four damage. It's gonna kill my other minion. Fuck this mage, dude. Fuck everything about mage. Fuck everything about mage. We are actually going to do this, though. This probably works out, right? <laughs> just SM it and uh, hope he doesn't just fireball your face and kill your entire fucking board, man. It's like, God, I hate playing against Mage. They have so much damage. They have so many ways to deal with your shit. Because it's a spell-heavy class. But that's besides the point. So, when they release Fists of Jaraxxus, right? They release Fists of Jaraxxus. Fuck, he's going to wipe my board. Don't wipe my board. Okay, that's fine. It's not really fine. It's kind of annoying, honestly. But, you know. Okay. Ooh, I have a discard mechanic for my Tiny Knight. Hopefully I don't discard Chromagus. But, you know. I get the feeling I'm going to discard Chromagus. The thing about Fists of Jaraxxus, right... Is that if you didn't discard it, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's do this. Oh god, what order do I do this in? Uh, well, let's cycle this. And I guess... I honestly don't give a shit about this, do I? Fuck it, we'll do this one. He probably has Firelands Portal, and he's going to use it on my four, my five four now. But you know, what can you do, fucking mage? Am I right? So, I did that one by the way because it was a three two, and I figured how many spells could he have left? He's been playing like two spells per turn at this point. Uh, but actually, it's Tempo Mage, so like it's probably how many spells does Tempo Mage run? Like, five? oh fuck me, fuck this shit. I'm out. We'll continue this rant in the next game, hopefully. <laughs> I have won a game with this. I have won a game with this. It's at rank 17, but whatever. I have won a game with this. I just want to clarify that. Okay, we'll play one more. For Doomhammer, your soul shall be mine. Alright, this hand is fucking garbage. Um, I will say, in the game that I won, I did manage to sort of out-tempo my opponent, which was pretty nice. Uh, it's also really nice that we're getting Malgstar's Imp every single start. The unfortunate thing is that he's gonna answer with a Tunnel Trog, which is like just as good. Actually, probably way better. <laughs> Ooh! This is interesting. Oh, he has coin. He's gonna coin out a 3 drop watch. Oh well. Don't discard Soulfire. He discarded Soulfire. Fucking hell. That's fine. Kinda. Not really. It's not really fine. I'm not okay. I have to pretend I'm okay, but I'm not okay. So going back to the whole Fist of Jaraxxus thing, right? While Fist of Jaraxxus was theoretically good if you could discard it, the- f Oh my god. Fucking move my laptop in a weird spot, my bad. Um, Fist of Jaraxxus was only good? I- I just remembered, I don't have any- I don't have any clear in this deck, do I? <laughs> Shit! And that's a 5-1. At least he didn't send that 5 damage to my face, right? At least that 5 damage didn't hit my face. Let's do this. And actually, this 1-3, one, 
does kind of contest the board, which is pretty nice. Uh, now all we gotta do is hope he doesn't uh, doesn't draw the war leader. Ah, oh, and there it is. So I think we've lost, frankly, because <laughs> I don't have any sort of board clear in this deck. This deck is literally just discard and draw. I guess we will draw a card though. Ooh, that's good. So this is representing a threat, so he's going to have to discard it. Of course, the problem with Fist of Jirax is that I've been trying to get to for the past, like, five minutes, but I've not been bothering, because it's a lot of high-action game, which is great, you know? Shit, I think we might be dead. No, that's, like, that's ten damage? That's nine, twelve, eleven damage. That is eleven fucking damage. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, if I was him, I would all face here. Fist of Jaraxxus was only good if you discarded him, basically. Hmm. Obviously you do this. Now, I still really like the discard mechanic, partially because there's a lot of decision-making involved in the discard thing, right? Uh, like, you can't just discard cards because you want to. How's this going? When you're discarding, I hope you, like my you generally want to empty out your hand of really shit cards, and you want to play the sort of odds of like, okay, which one of these cards am I going to need, which one of these cards am I not going to use, right? And you play that sort of guessing game, which I really like about the discard mechanic, and it's kind of partially why I really like- what the fuck is that? <laughs> why do you have a jeweled scarab in your aggressive murloc deck? What the shit? Okay, I think we're still alive. He does have Warlock Hero Power. Um, oh, but he didn't use it this turn. That's interesting. Ooh, I can buff up my Tiny Knight to take care of that really annoying 1-5 minion. So we will do that after clearing out some of these Murlocs. Let's get this draw going. I've outdrawn the aggro deck, which I can be pretty proud of. Let's continue drawing, because... You know, I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh, and then we'll go, I guess, Acolyte Succubus? This seems good, why not? And now I have a fun- I have board control! Ew! Maybe we'll win this one, because, uh, my Murloc friend, opponent, hopefully doesn't have enough burst. If he has Doomhammer or literally anything, we're kind of fucked. But, assuming I can build up board press- oh, there we go. Well played. Do we play one more? Nah, I usually do two games. We'll talk about the deck more. That was actually a much shorter video than I expected, but, you know, not all of them can be fucking 30-minute control decks, right? Uh, thank you all for watching! This is the deck list if you would like to play it yourself. I would probably take out Chromagus for something else, because the game seemed to end significantly before he's even there. Uh, I hope you enjoy the super gimmick. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun, and it does occasionally work out. I can promise you it's worked out for me at least once. Thank you all for watching. My name is Jim Key. I'll see you guys in my next video. Good. Bye.